Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I have a story that's coming straight from Willowick, Ohio. Oh, snap the hometown. Hometown lovin's. O-H. Yeah, you ever go to Burger King out there in the home spot? Yeah, I ever go to Burger King in Willowick? Yes, I actually have been to many a Burger King in Willowick, I'm sure. Yeah, me too. In my ears. So, the other day, uh, I think this happened on Easter. Guy goes through the drive-thru. Okay. And he's like, I want a couple sandwiches and whatnot. And he comes through, and the guy at the counter is like... You know, I'll be eight bucks. That's and, a lot. That's a yeah. lot. But yeah. And the guy is like, what do you mean eight bucks? It should be like $11. And he tried to like tell the guy that there was like a promotion going on. So like he got um, a deal on his sandwiches. Uh-huh. And he ended up getting so mad that he pulled a gun on the fast food worker. Because he, he gave him a discount on his breakfast sandwiches. He got mad that he got a discount on his sandwiches. Yeah, he didn't want He wanted to pay full price. And he told him, I, he's like, it's a promotion, dude. I think he was thinking that he was effing his order up. But I maybe, don't know. People are insane. Maybe it's a loss in translation. Uh, yeah, that is kind of nuts to, uh, but very Ohio thing to happen though. You know, only in Ohio, you can't do shit in Ohio and only in Ohio would you see somebody pull a gun on somebody for, you know, giving them a discount on a sandwich. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Ohio is a weird place. Yeah. I mean, you were, you were born there, dude. It you was know. like, you would know all the mercury in the water. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> That is what it is. Is that what it is? Yes. I don't know. Are we leaning into the conspiracy? Where's your scientific proof, Joe? Show me the proof of the, the mercury in the water in Ohio being the reason that uh, people are getting mad over discounts at sandwich shops. I mean. Show me the correlation, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't like show you anymore. I mean, I can't show you that you're wrong. If that's any consolation show, if you give me an iota of proof, then you've already won. Yeah. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> I win. What are you talking about? You just told me that I won. I said if you give me an iota of proof, Jonas. You already won, but you haven't given me one. Oh, I need to do that? Stuff? I don't know. I'm just, I, you don't have to do anything. I'm about to you can, out all You can just you. be like, well, you're right. I have no proof of that. Oh, and yeah, we can carry on. Ew, why would I say that? <laughs> so you're going to look up the mercury content in Ohio's water supply versus that of other states. And that somehow is going to dictate that there's an increase in, I don't know, aggression of the everyman in Ohio because of the water content of the mercury. And you think that is the answer? Yeah. Flint, Michigan. They ain't had good water in a minute. <laughs> they ain't had good water in about a minute. You're not <laughs> even around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's so funny. <laughs> they, they had good water in about a minute. You know, you're right. no, you're wrong, no. It's only been a minute. You know, I don't know why somebody like Elon doesn't fix that. You know, honestly, that is a good question. That's a good question. Like, they just need some filters. Get them a Brita. Did Tesla start out in Detroit? No, it started out in a gold mine in a foreign country. Yeah, it started out in South Africa. I understand that, but I don't know where it was originally stationed. You would think that uh, Detroit, because it's like the uh, the car building city, but I'm not exactly yeah. sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 That was uh. That's pretty crazy, Jonas. What, dude? Why? I like. I yeah, don't know. Did yeah. you? Do you remember like? Yelling at fast food workers. Oh yeah. Have you ever have you ever like went off on like a fast food worker? Like <laughs> like it's like, what do you mean we're out of chips, bitch? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. Remember no. that? Remember when I was I like, do remember that. I didn't say it. Though. You did not see. You saw it. You saw it in the car. I was, I was upset that she was out of ch- <laughs> chips. Know, you know, yeah, not passive aggressive. That's perfectly fine, Joe. You I was just to- like, that's fine, ma'am. We'll come back another time. No. Uh, I will say is that there is one time where I did go off on a fast food work. You, you honestly made me like, think. You, you honestly made something? me remember. You may, What? Do you throw something? Uh, No, I got very close, though. I remember I was on my way to work, and I stopped at the Burger King because I wanted a, a, a five-piece spicy nugget. Okay. All right? So I go through the line. Five-piece spicy nugget. Okay. And then they say the, the one thing that everybody hates to hear when they get into a fast food line drive through Could you just pull up? It'll take a minute. We're going to drop your nuggets fresh. Uh, like, I don't want fresh nuggets. I want old nuggets. Exactly. Thank Give me the heat lamp special nuggets. I don't want to be sitting in line here because you're gonna, something's going to happen. It's going to take either yeah. seven minutes or something's going to happen. Yeah, there's a hot take. I would rather have two hour old french fries that are under the heat lamp then fresh boys right out the front thank you thank you take note the fast food restaurants of america regardless so fine i pull up ahead five minutes goes by 10 minutes goes by 15 minutes goes like, by i just want some goddamn nuggets i'm the most patient person i think in the world man but 15 minutes and i'm looking for my nuggets so i get out of my vehicle I walk into the store okay. and I'm like, I've been outside waiting for 15 minutes. I was supposed to get spicy nuggets. Everybody looks at me like I'm freaking crazy. They're like, what? They're like looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm late to work now. I just want my nuggets. It's principalities at this point. So the one like cashier lady or the, actually the lady who took my order. The lady who took the damn order, uh, cause I looked her in the freaking face, and she's gonna try to act like she's gaslighting me, like she's never seen me before. She's like, "Sir, I don't know who you are." I'm like, "Lady, who the hell else is driving a silver Cadillac in this month?" Like, seriously, I'm in the butt effing middle of nowhere, Texas. Anyway, so she's like, uh, "I honestly don't even remember seeing you," and I'm just like, "Lady, I looked you in the, I looked you in the windows of your soul." This is real. This really did happen. She yes, didn't remember you? I looked you in the window of your soul and said, "Spicy five piece nugget." And she said she didn't remember me, and I was like, "Yo, I need my nuggets." So then she like, the, the nuggets are already there's heat lamp nuggets is sitting there. Hands me the heat lamp nuggets. Has a little cops little attitude. I'm like, hey yo. I don't sit up here and act like I'm the bad guy. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Woo! I walked out of there with my nuggets and my integrity in line, Jonas. Okay. And I went to work and I ate those heat lamp nuggets. Were they good? No, they were awful. Um, they were awful because they were they were filled with bad service. That sounds like a traumatizing experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, You're not I, alone. I, you're first. That's the first time I ever told that story. Well, I'm glad that you told me. I. <laughs> One time, uh, I uh, I worked at a Blockbuster video, and I got off work late, and there was a Wendy's right there. Okay. And I was like, man, I'm starving. Let me just get, like, two Junior Bacon cheeseburgers when they used to be, like, a dollar. And be like, and I'll eat these bees on the way home, because I have, like, a 30-minute drive home. Bet. So, like, I ordered them, went through the drive through started heading home, opened it up, took a big old fat bite, and I was like... What the fuck is wrong with this? Mm. Turned on the goddamn light. It was the burger was raw as could be, dude. And I was so mad I threw it out the window because like I was already like past this point of no return. Like I spit it out and then I was just mad and I just like threw the sandwiches out the window. You didn't take it back. I was past the point of no return. You didn't man. call, dude. I was, I was on the freeway. Most of the time, if you call though, just to, just to yeah, say but they were this. yeah, it was closed at the time, man. Uh. Yeah, it was. I still call. You can call the next day. Most of the time, if you call, they'll just eat it, man. They'll just be like, "Well, you whatever, dude." They'll be like, "They'll be like, what's your name? We'll put your name on a paper. Tell them that Sandra gave you a coupon." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not gonna I, lie, but I did. I did have a a friend back in the day. He would do that like once a week and just, just call get and free food. 
just get free food. I um I used to call ah, and stuff anymore unless that. it's like egregious or a lot of money I don't oh, call anymore. Like if like like we like we had the uh the incident where like we on Thanksgiving we grub hubbed like a hundred dollars worth of pizza. Oh, yeah. Because of course yeah, it was expensive, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and like whatever. And homeboy just like brought it all the way to the apartment complex, yep. put it on top of like a electrical box, took a picture, and then just left. Bro, you never know when with these doors. It's dashes. Thanksgiving Day, one the one day of the year is supposed to be good to humankind. <laughs> we are hungry boys. We didn't have Thanksgiving dinner because we are we don't need family. All we had was this goddamn pizza, and he took it from us. We all split one bagel. He was mad. He was on the clock on Thanksgiving. He chose to work. You don't get scheduled to he work for favor. To your, he chose to eat your goddamn he pizzas too. He chose to eat our goddamn <laughs> pizza too. <laughs> He's probably like that. Shit smells good. I'm hungry. My family. We wasn't yep. in town either. Happy Thanksgiving to me. He was just waiting for the first Thanksgiving uh, one that was worthwhile. Yeah, he was waiting to for the goddamn home. pilgrims to show up. Yeah, he just did Grubhub to steal a goddamn huh. thing. That's actually an interesting idea, Jonas. Steal Grubhub orders? No. <laughs> I mean, you're yes. hungry, just wait for a good one and then don't deliver it? Yeah, so you're like, uh, you know, I'm kind of hungry today. I think I'll get a job at Grubhub. All right, what's my first order? Uh, I don't really want this. Second order now. Uh, Taco oh, Bell, I'm in. Hundred dollars worth of pizza. Pfft. Yeah, I'm good for a People month. Are dicks, dude. <laughs> Stole my pizza. Anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.